What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today we're gonna go over those foods that you think are healthy that I'm gonna show you today are actually making you fat. We call them trap foods. It's a trap! Jesse, could you get through one video without your infatuation for Star Wars showing itself? Absolutely not. You're gonna be see more of him in this video, but we're gonna go through one by one eight of these trap foods here, so hopefully you're better educated as to why you need to avoid them once and for all. Okay, so let's talk about one that I actually picked on a little bit in a recent video in a different form as an avocado, and now here in all of its glory as guacamole. Look guys, there's nobody that realizes the benefits of healthy fats more than me and knows that guacamole is a great source of that. However, whoever stopped at a tablespoon of guacamole? Because that has 40 calories in it. But what we do is of course we go overboard and the average American eats 10 to 12 tablespoons of guacamole every time they eat it. Not to mention the fact that they're usually scooping it all up with all these chips over here. And before you start telling me, Jeff, you're off base because this food right here, these healthy fats, they don't spike insulin so they can't make you fat. Tell that to the person that just consumed 10,000 calories today in fat. It goes back to the law of thermodynamics, guys. Science never changes despite the fact of what your PubMed article just told you. Guys, have you ever had a sudden craving for a certain food? I'm talking about the real version of it, right? The, like the real chocolate chip cookie, or the blueberry muffin, or even the potato chips. Well, don't worry, you can satisfy that craving without the guilt that comes from these chemically engineered, overprocessed, carcinogenic, additive rich, light, reduced fat versions. That, oh, by the way, usually have almost 80% of the calories of the original. Better yet, why don't you just skip it all together and opt for a better food choice than either of these, and at the same time erase all those chemical question marks that usually come from having these light versions. Okay, this next one pains me to say it because this was one of my all-time favorite foods growing up, but you're going to figure out why fast, and that is baked beans. Now you're probably saying, but I thought beans were healthy. And there are a lot of great beans. You got navy beans, pinto beans, lima beans, black beans, jelly bean. Oh wait, that's I jelly. I love jelly beans. That's Jesse's favorite. Jelly beans, stay away from the jelly beans, but the beans themselves are a great source of protein, complex carbohydrates, fiber. They've got all the makings of, of something good. However, we screw it up in the preparation. Anybody that's ever had refried beans can tell you that right away. But baked beans is no less of a problem because of all the sugar that there is in a single serving here. If you have a cup of baked beans, you're looking at 26 grams of sugar, almost as much as in a can of soda. So now you see why I love these things so much. And if you are too, you got to do something about it. You probably got to switch to one of those more plain versions, prepared a lot more simply if you want to watch your waistline in the process. All right, now what could be more wholesome than a cup of yogurt with some nice fresh fruit at the bottom? Uh, unfortunately, a whole hell of a lot of things. You see, because this right here is my number one trap food because it just seems so darn healthy and a lot of us fall for it. The problem is this, this fruit can be found bathing in the bottom of your cup of calories in a special mixture of corn syrup, sugar, and oh yeah, maybe just a little bit of actual fruit juice. You could opt to eat just the top part if you want to, but why even bother in the first place? Just buy some unsweetened yogurt and put it in your own, holy cow, fresh fruit at the bottom. I know it's a novel concept, but the fact is, it's a lot better way to protect your waistline in the long run. I don't know what it is about the word granola, but it just even sounds healthy. Right? It sounds like grains, for crying out loud. But this is probably the biggest breakfast sin that you're making because of all the high sugars that are being thrown into this just to hold all that together. Now, you might be arguing, but I, I make it on my own, so I don't have all that sugar. It doesn't matter, guys. This is by no means is a low-calorie choice. And if you're trying to lose weight, you're not going low-calorie here. You've got coconut. You've got nuts. You've got the oils in there. You've got raisins. All these things are not going to very calorie-dense foods. So what I'm going to tell you instead is to opt for oatmeal and instead take a little bit of this granola 
and sprinkle it on the top just for flavoring. It's going to give you a much smarter option here for breakfast, and it's going to help you in the long run for keeping that weight down. All right, so you're going to dine light tonight. Well, do me a favor and stay away from these carb-loaded pseudo-protein belly bombs, better known as sushi. You see, with just a sliver of actual fish in here, we're talking about only 15% of the total calories coming in the form of protein, and more sticky rice than you can actually deal with. You can build a small hut with one, for crying out loud. The fact of the matter is, they're so easily eaten, and a single roll can have up to 500 calories for just a six-piece roll. Tell me how many guys limit themselves to just six pieces. Throw in the added sodium IV drip that you're getting from that low salt soy sauce, and your healthy meal actually just made a Big Mac look like beans and sprouts. Okay, if you're still attached to your fruit juice, right, and maybe even drinking it from a sippy cup, I'm not going to judge you, but I am going to recommend that you cut back because what you're doing to your blood sugar and insulin levels is pretty much putting them on the same ride as, let's say, the stock market with all the spikes and the crashes. And the big problem here is that they're liquid calories. They're far too easy to consume them, right? You just take the, a, a sip, put it down, put it back, put it down. It's too damn easy. But what you want to do is actually try to start getting that from fruit itself, right? The actual consumption of the fruit in solid form makes you, number one, more aware of the food that you're eating, and number two, it actually brings along some of that healthy fiber that you're missing out on by relying on the juice. And before you even question how bad these actually are for you, just do me one favor. Go and compare a bottle of grape juice and a bottle of soda, and you'll probably be surprised that they're a lot more similar than you thought. All right, this next one is near and dear to me because I made this mistake and hopefully I'm going to help you to avoid it now too. Deli meats, avoid them at all costs. You see, when I first started training, I wanted to get more protein in my diet, so I ran to the local deli and I started ordering my roast beef, my turkey, my chicken. The thing is, I didn't realize that I was also getting, with these, a lot of additives, fillers, chemicals, sodium. I, I probably should have clued in when I was looking at that perfectly round chicken breast. I mean, because I, I don't think I've ever seen one of those in real life. So you have to realize, guys, that when they make these things, they compile them and they, they mix them all up and they form them into these little balls full of all those things I just told you about. And if you probably dropped one, the damn thing would probably bounce. So what I'm going to recommend instead is to avoid this fake chicken, or ficken as I call it, and opt for the real deal. Go get real chicken breast. Go get real turkey breast. And if you don't have the time to make it yourself, I already made a video on this great way that you could actually go to the catering counter at your local grocery store and order all this in bulk and then you have it, you can freeze it and you can use it as you go. But do me a favor and avoid the deli meats, opt for the real deal instead. Whoa, 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 whoa. So there you have it guys, there's the eight trap foods that are no longer going to trip you up because you know better. If you're looking for a plan that lays out all the things that you should be eating, then I've already done that for you guys. As a coach, I want to take the responsibility to not just show you the right workouts, but how to eat because we know how the two go hand in hand. They're all available over at athleanx.com in a step-by-step -step plan. If you're looking to join Team Athlean, there's no better time than now, guys. I'll see you over there. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover in a future video, and I'll do my best to do that for you. All right, guys, see you soon.